Speech Synthesizer by Tad Painter. This program was released for the Timex Sinclair 2068 home computer in 1984. This is a close-up of the computer. This synthesizer is a software-only solution. There is no hardware required. More details are provided as you watch the video. You'll be able to hear the speech, which will come out of the computer's internal speaker. This is my Timex Sinclair 2068 computer, and it's set up. I sort of cleaned it up, but mostly it's a mess. I'm trying to uh, make a quick video showing a uh, speech synthesizer that was written by Tad Painter in about 1984 for the system. The 2068 has the internal speaker, so the sound probably isn't going to be great. I'm going to show uh, up some upgrades I have here. This is a 14-inch um, flat screen CRT monitor. Here's a 12-inch RGB monitor that's hooked in with a um, RGB adapter uh, that works for uh, an LCD screen. And this over here is a, an old Vista laptop that I have that I use as a tape recorder. And uh, this is how I was able to get some quality um, recordings of the speech synthesizer. And I thought I would also throw in something that I was doing a few years ago uh, when I was making videos about these systems and I was uh, listening at the time to Joydivision and I've been having some conversations with uh, David Anderson uh, of the 2068 group uh, about uh, some Joydivision music that we both enjoy and so I thought I'd promote I'm listening to this album right now uh, you can't hear it of course because it's not on but uh, this is Substance and if you enjoy uh, uh, Joydivision uh, this is kind of like um a best of, kind of like the New Order album Substance, which is what they went on to form later. I'll do some close-ups of this stuff, and then you'll get to see, hopefully, if it works out, the speech synthesizer in action. This is my Timex computer setup. So uh, this is, like I said, uh, the tape recorder, and now the computer's on. You probably can't see anything on the screen, but it is on, I tr trust me. Um, it's hooked up to the CRT monitor. It's hooked up to the RGB monitor, which I have both displayed at the same time. Over here, I have the speech synthesizer ready, and I'm going to start loading it. So I have it prepped here. I'm going to try to scoot around my camera and press play. And it should start loading. I don't know how well that shows up on the screen, but I'll do a close-up because there's no way that I can actually um, get a good picture from this angle. So I just want to show my basic setup so you can see what it's about. This uh, The basic program for the speech synthesizer takes about 24 seconds to load from tape, and then the actual speech itself will take about two minutes to load. So we'll skip that part. Here is the speech synthesizer program that was written by Tad Painter in 1984. I'm going to do a listing of the program. Keep in mind, this is just the basic portion. I meant to actually continue scrolling, so let's try that again. There we go. And it's not very long, as you'll see. Most of the program uh, is written in machine language and is stored in a separate part of memory, as is the speech. And that is it. So now I'm going to run the program. Keep in mind that what you're listening to here is the internal speaker of the Timex Sinclair 2068. So the audio isn't going to be very clear. But it's better than not being able to hear at all. If you want to hear it, you can download the speech uh, demo in an audio format that sounds pretty good as an mp3 from TomXSinclair.com. Well, thank you uh, for watching that demo with me. 
I'm not sure why the program calls me stupid. After all, I just would have paid for the speech synthesizer. I'm going to now try to show and demo the actual entire library. There are 273 or 74 words in total. You can mix and match them and make your own library, but without buying additional software and I think hardware, you couldn't make your own sounds or your own speech. And I don't have that available. I'm not sure if that program has been archived. So I'll pause here and try to load up library number one. Why am I holding this sheet of paper against my screen? Well, this is the library of words. There are 273 listed, well actually 274 listed, and uh, there are 0 through 273, but I think one of the words is actually missing in the speech library. What we have here is the words that's going to be set. Um, library 1, library 2, library 3, and library 4. Let's get started. I've loaded up library 1 and we'll listen to it by typing go sub from the demo program 3000 and it's going to list and say the word number and then say the word at the same time. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. So those are a list of the first 67 words, 0 through 66. And keep in mind that this entire program uh, and the speech for it is kept in 48K of RAM. So the speech isn't exactly clear, but it's understandable and it's usable. And you get to make your own library and create your own words if you have the extra. I guess you would have needed a piece of hardware and also a piece of software, which I do not have. So next I'm going to load up the second library and we'll listen to that. We are now uh, listening to, or are about to listen to, library number two. This will have words, let's see, 67 through 138. So that's word number choice, or excuse me, that's word choice, which is number 67, and the ending ing, I-N-G, for 138. So again, go sub, so go sub and 3,000, and here we go. That was library number two for the speech synthesizer. Next up, we're gonna uh, load in library number three. And I should note that each of these libraries take between two and three minutes to load. And of course, I'm cutting that out, or I'm not even recording it, why would I? So next thing you'll see is me playing and you'll hear the speech from library three. Rather than loading in the library, I've decided to show you how to load a library in. So once the basic program has been uh, load it up. I'm going to uh, load something like you normally would. I'm going to press uh, the load key, which is uh, just the J key, so you, that types in load. Then I'm going to press simple shift and the P key, and that gives me quotes. So I need two of those. Then I'm going to get into extended mode. So that's what the E stands for there for the cursor. And do that by pressing caps shift and simple shift. 
And next, now I'm going to press code, which is above the I. And every key on the Timex does about five functions. So now I type code, and I press enter, and I'm going to start loading the quote tape, which is really just uh, a WAV file on my computer. And as you can see, I'm starting uh, the loading sequence. It tells me this is library three. From here, I'm going to fade out, and you'll next see me playing the library. The third library has been loaded into the Timex Sinclair 2068 computer. Again, I'm going to press uh, go sub and 3000, and it will start uh, playing uh, the library, which consists of um, number word numbers 139, which is is, through word number 216, which is the word so. Again, as I've emphasized, I'm trying to emphasize, uh, the program isn't exactly super easy to understand. However, there's a good reason for this. All of these words are stored in 48K of RAM. Uh, it's not much RAM. So here we go. That's the last of the third library. We have one more library to go of original uh, speech, and that is library number four. I do want to say that uh, the output for the speech can be taken off of the uh, mic port or the auxiliary output, one of those ports on the back of the 2068. I have done this and it works uh, okay. I've had to hook up speakers, which you saw earlier in this video at the beginning, uh, which are sitting next to my 2068, but they're not being used here. Uh, for a couple of reasons, one, my uh, camera can't easily uh, get the speech picked up from the speakers uh, with a direct port. While it does have one, it kind of overwhelms the inboard op amp or whatever is working inside my camera. So uh, uh, there was also a piece of hardware uh, which I asked the um, 2068 group what it might be, and David Anderson, a uh, member there, uh, volunteered that it was perhaps a low-pass filter to make the speech sound a little bit better. Um, and I don't know if that's true, but I have tried um, messing around with software low-pitch filters or low-pass filters, and that seemed to work okay, and it does make the speech sound a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to start loading in the uh, next one, and I will uh, stop after that. So as I'm doing again, this is how you would load any basic program, but if you want to load additional information, you would press code after that. All right, I'm going to press enter after I load up the quote tape, which is the WAV file, which I have not done yet. So fading out here for one of the last times. This will be the last library that I will be uh, showing in this video. I do want to point out again that this is going to cover um, uh, words 217, the word soon, through word 273, the word you. There are no words that begin with the word, or with the letter Z. Uh, and I should uh, also point out one other thing about this program, but I'll do that after you listen to the speech. So here's the last, last of the original speech that is included with the speech synthesizer written by Tad Painter in 1984. I haven't noted, but he wrote an earlier version of this program for the Timex 1000 and maybe for the ZX81, I am not sure. But here we go with the last of the speech. Hope you've enjoyed this so far.
that is the last of the speech that is included. You've now heard every single word that the speech synthesizer can talk uh, out of the box. There are two other libraries. Uh, one of them we've listened to uh, besides the built-in library, or excuse me, besides the original words. And then there are, I think, another one which is called NumLib, which is just a library of numbers, which gives you uh, extra room for your basic program. And there are two other basic programs. There's one called Compile, which you'd load in, and then you'd make your own speech library by loading the words up. I've tried doing this, and it isn't that I haven't had success. The, the program works, but it is kind of um, difficult to use without using a real tape player. And um, it's not that important for me to try that. I just wanted to hear the speech. The other program is called Speak uh, Subroutine, and that is a subroutine that you would load into your basic program, and then uh, it will speak the words that you have loaded into the memory. Uh, that's it for this program. I hope you've enjoyed it. I guess I could, uh, well, I guess I'll just end it with here. Uh, <clears throat> I definitely recommend you get a uh, RGB monitor like this, and I think you'll enjoy it. All right, thanks for watching.